I'm a passion for skydiving ended in tragedy for one local skydiver. And tonight we are learning what went wrong during his fatal jump in Ray Township. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl spoke with friends who are remembering a man who loved to skydive. Super comfortable in the air, um, just loved that place, you know, that place where his heart was just free. Randy Allison is the general manager of the Midwest Free Ball Sport Parachute Club and was a close friend to Ken Bernag. He knew him for years and watched Ken grow as a pilot and skydiver. Ken was a high performance canopy pilot. And guys that practice high performance canopy flight um, do some maneuvers to increase the speed at which they come in and approach the ground. Kim was an experienced skydiver with more than 1,800 jumps under his belt. Skydiving was his passion. It was how he met his wife. He became an instructor and was known for his photography in the air. Saturday, he made his last jump. The 34-year-old was on this plane with several other skydivers. Like so many other times, they took off from the small airstrip in Ray Township. Kim was the first to jump at 5,000 feet so he could practice a stunt known as high-performance canopy. Kim was practicing. Practicing a stunt as he went in for the landing, his parachute got caught up in these tree branches. As he came crashing to the ground, he hit a lady on a bicycle. For some reason, uh, he obviously didn't arrest his descent or stop the downward speed uh, in time to prevent prematurely uh, hitting the ground. The 53-year-old Ray Township woman can hit is expected to recover from her injuries, but Ken's death will leave a scar where his smile once shined. He's going to be missed greatly. I know there's been a lot of hearts broken because of this situation. In Ray Township, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.